$1.3 million grant will help Vanderbilt University develop a treatment for the Ebola virus. Last fall, Vanderbilt alum Dr. Ian Crozier became part of the epidemic while working to contain it in West Africa. News Channel 5's Andrea Klein Thomas tells us his message to medical students. For weeks, he was simply known as patient number three. Dr. Ian Crozier shed his anonymity to make sure the stories about Ebola are never forgotten. I think I'm haunted most by individual stories, and that's why I tell individual stories. For three weeks last fall, Dr. Ian Crozier was in the heart of the Ebola epidemic, treating patients in Sierra Leone. They've sort of been through their, their own personal hells, and then they come into a lonelier place, isolated in a unit, and go through it again. There, he saw stories of survival, but there was also death, including the medical professionals he worked alongside trying to contain the disease. I want them to hear a story, right? I want them to hear the names of people who were uh, the uncommon heroes that I talked about. I want them to remember their names and their sacrifices. In September, the doctor became the patient. Crozier had Ebola, and his health quickly deteriorated. Chances of survival seemed slim. Details he shared to highlight the life-saving strategies used at Emory University in Atlanta that could help save someone else. Very glad to be alive, yeah. Now he uses his life as a case study in hopes of helping others better understand the virus. Whether it's this virus or another fetal virus or flu or coronavirus, these things will happen again. There have been 25,000 confirmed Ebola cases. 10,000 have died from it. And so part of why I want to tell these stories is because it puts flesh and bone on very uh, intimidating numbers. He gives a sense that it's not just medicine, but a humanity that can help eradicate the virus. While he's come a long way, Dr. Crozier continues to deal with the effects of Ebola. Doctors are documenting his experience and that of other survivors to help find the best treatment for the virus.